Thank you. Huh? Beautiful climbing away off the Cosford for a fly past the large player. Show they've got there this weekend. She'll be bigger than most. Running in from. Right-hand seat, Kev Ruman is co-captain, and the AEO down the back is Phil Davis today. Doing about 345 miles an hour as he came past us there, with the engines throttled back. He's pulled into the brake, air brakes out, decelerating to about 160 miles an hour to come back towards us. So that lovely delta shape with the cranked leading edge over on the far side, silhouetted against those rather elegant grey clouds which have kept away from us fortunately and not dropped any rain on us today. Of course right at the end of Falcon's operational career in 1982, supported by Victors and other Vulcans, Vulcan 607 hit the centre line of the Port Stanley runway in the Falkland Islands with one bomb and the edge of the runway with another making the runway unusable for Argentine fast jets and until the Gulf War that was the longest bombing raid in history, 7,760 miles round trip. That's further than from here to Santiago in Chile. And the man flying it, the captain, was Martin Withers, flying this aircraft for us today. out on top and bottom of the wing. As she turns back towards us, they'll be selecting the bomb doors open, so as she flies by next time, we shall see the enormous, capacious bomb bay, the bomb bay that carried 21,000 pounds of bombs, 21 separate 1,000 pound bombs, all the way to the Falkland Islands, that's 7,760 mile round trip. in the hands of the Royal Air Force was in 1992. Bomb doors closing as she comes past again. The campaign to get this aeroplane to the sky, welcome to the sky, has been on a nightmare since its very earliest days. There has been enormous support from the Civil Aviation Authority, from Marshall Aerospace, who are the engineering authority for the aircraft, other companies as well, EADS, AirBP, VAE Systems, Jefferson, Subaru. AD Holdings, Goodrich and Rolls-Royce, and most recently Aerobytes. And throughout it all, C. Walton Limited at Grunting Thorpe. And of course here today, SP Aviation, huge amount of thanks to all of those companies, but the biggest thanks of all to you, the British people. The business plan always envisaged having a major commercial sponsor, but her first display season last year was just totally wrongly timed. She still hasn't got a major sponsor. She has money till the end of the season, but nobody quite knows till then. She still needs your help, so after the show, please go to the Vulcan village at the right-hand end near where she's parked and see what you can do. The extraordinary 
Mary Falcon effect should be a very good reason why big companies might be queuing up to sponsor this aircraft. She has an, an absolutely amazing, proven ability to attract big audiences. And of course the other thing that she does is to honour the past and inspire the future. She honours the past, the great Cold War warriors and of course the crews that took the fight to the Argentines in the Falkland Islands. But she inspires the future because this is absolutely classic British engineering and aviation expertise. And for something as beautiful as this, I think she...